where it is easy to use and configure serverless cloud managed services, it is equally hard to debug them, especially when these services are integrated with your other services on the on-prem or even in your other cloud services. AWS SQS is one such service. AWS SQS is used as a managed queuing service where you can use, um, where you can send and receive messages from your different applications. Configuring SQS and looking at it is very simple. You can do it in minutes. If your SQS queue is integrated with other applications where not only you are sending some messages and then consuming them, and if something breaks, then it's very hard to debug, of course, the SQS queues. Now, many times, one of the problems which I face is that there are a lot of third party applications which interact with SQS queues. And these third party applications are not managed one. In that case, when there is an error regarding the queuing or any other service uh, from the application side, SQS is, gets the first blame. Now, how you can verify if SQS is a culprit here or not? The first and foremost thing you need to do is to make sure that your SQS queue is pulling the messages. In order to do that, all you need to do is to go into the AWS console or even from CLI, but it's very easy to do it from the AWS console. So go to the AWS console, go to your SQS queue, and then uh, just click on poll messages. The poll messages will just <clears throat> um, bring the messages out to you. In that way, you can check and you can verify that there is no um, problem or issue with SQS queue itself if it is pulling the messages. Okay, and it doesn't impact anything by the way. Okay. Second thing you can do is to check the access policy of that queue and make sure that whichever application is consuming that queue has got the um, proper rights. This is the second most issue I have seen. Um, with the queues where the access policy is not right. Once you also configure and figure out that your access policy of the queue is fine, only then you can be almost sure that the issue is not with the queue. But to be certain, go to the CloudWatch, search for your SQS queue, and then go to the graft metrics in the CloudWatch and pick out these four metrics which are shown on your screen. Number of messages received means that the messages received from the queue by the application. Messages, number of messages sent means number of messages added to the queue by the application. Number of messages deleted means the messages which were consumed. Normally messages received and deleted are uh, work together. And Approximate number of message messages visible is also a great matrix which lets you know if there is any backlog happening in the queue. Okay, now let's read this graph. The first thing, look at the red line, which is approximate number of messages visible. And this, uh, I have scaled this graph on the top section to one week. Now, if you look at it, Number of messages visible line, the red line, is starting from 9th of May and then climbing, climbing, climbing until um, around 12th of May and then dropping suddenly. That means that there was an issue on 9th of May and the messages kept arriving in this queue and then no one was receive, uh, consuming them. So it, uh, it was climbing, climbing and then it suddenly dropped. Okay, that is one thing. Number of messages deleted, green line, you can see that no messages was deleted until uh, 12th of May. And then there is a green line, a vertical green line on 12th of May. It means that someone consumed them. And messages sent, the orange line means that someone was adding these uh, messages to this queue. And you can see that there were little spikes uh, from 5th of um, 9th of um, May to 12th of May, so here and there messages were being added. Number of messages in blue line, you can see that there are only two blue lines and nothing else. This is when 
uh, I try to do the manual um, adding to this um, message received, which I was just pulling the queue just to check if the queue was working fine. So it was receiving it, but nothing was consuming it, which means nothing was being deleted as shown by the red, uh, green line. So as soon as the issue was resolved, um, the queue uh, the queue was already working fine. So this red line came down. It means that number of visible messages or number of messages, the visible message in the queue dropped. Green line went up, which means number of messages uh, which were consumed, deleted in the queue and all was fine. And when the queue is working fine, normally the values of this received and deleted <clears throat> are the same because the number of being messages being sent are being consumed with received and deleted. So this is what you can do in order to troubleshoot your SQS queue related uh, errors or concerns. I hope that this was useful. If you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section. Thank you.